So the first time you sat in my chair, I tell people this all the time, I was terrified because you sat down and you were like, I hate makeup. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm so excited because I have Miss Earth USA Lindsay Coffee with me. And we're so excited because we are going to be doing this look right here, which is what we've been doing Just for her look. It's perfection. Yes. She is a makeup guru. You are in good hands when you watch her tutorials because I mean, I can't stop taking selfies right now. You look now, so cute. So. You're my little drag baby now. <laughs> right? I know, right? <laughs> it's far from drag, but we call this the Lindsay look and I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it starting right now. So first guys, I'm gonna start with the Muba Photo Filter Primer. I know I use this on you all the time. Do you like it? I do like it. It feels really great on my skin. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and have you go ahead and put it on like a lotion. Because of COVID, I'm not touching people's faces. <laughs> and then like whatever's left, just like rub it off on your neck. Okay, so I found this on TikTok. It's an e.l.f. concealer, and this is the shade Fair Beige. It's literally $6, and it's better than like the $20 like Tarte. Six bucks. You can't beat six bucks. You literally can't, and it's so good. I go through like tubes of this stuff. I'm gonna prep your eyelids. So you already know about this, but I'm using a secret palette. I can't really share it yet, but this copper color is from my next palette. I can see it. Okay, so you need to tell me everything about what it was like to compete in a virtual pageant because you're one of the first girls that did like a major yeah virtual pageant. it was the first time miss earth usa went virtual and a lot of pageants going virtual it was kind of crazy because i didn't know what i was getting myself into since i don't even really know the pageant system but miss earth usa ended up giving us a really detailed script on what to do what not to do angles that you should avoid um, mm -hmm. preferred ones so they really wrote it out for us so it wasn't too overwhelming it was just mostly finding a venue and doing it yourself was the, the overwhelming part that's the hardest part even this week when we're filming your national competition well your international competition yeah. um it's really hard to find the right venues because background is so important and then lighting weather, lighting yes space it's lighting just... can make and break anything so you have to have good lighting oh, so sure. whenever i did my usa one i rented a space that had floor to ceiling windows so you could not go wrong there was just so much light pouring in oh my and gosh, it, it just made perfect. yeah it was so easy with that but it was funny because the original venue i wanted to use we worked it out and everything was set and then last minute they canceled on me so thank goodness i had a backup plan and it was in a hotel conference room so it's a very business oriented conference room so while i'm doing the taping in the background you saw like a little mini fridge and like oh. a countertop and i was like i have a fridge in my background but yeah but it having works. a plan a and a plan yeah. b and a c is so capricorn yeah. of you yeah, yeah. <laughs> plan a b c all the way to z yeah. <laughs> so we're going into snatch our favorite palette i'm probably going to do the rest of her face with this using the shade wig cap and i'm going to like just like blend out this shimmer up into her crease this is just like a really easy everyday look Lindsay so when you watch this video when I post it when you yeah. get ready it's gonna be perfect. I'm just gonna be watching the video as I do <laughs> gonna go a little bit darker on the outer corners with spray tan we love a good spray tan yes. I've only had two or three spray tans what? in my life I know I need to get more into it because there are some great salons that do really good jobs at spray tans they're like life changing. Like yeah. if you can't tone it, just spray tan it, yeah. and you'll be snatched. For Miami Swim Week, uh, we did. Of course, we had a lot of spray tan going on. I, I get, I got so dark. It looked so good, but it, it was crazy to watch in the mirror. Basically, it transformed before your eyes. I just slowly, gradually was getting dark and dark, darker as I was looking at myself. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Yeah. I'm always told to just like, when I like my color, just shower so I don't get darker. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm sure you didn't have time for that at Swim Week. I, um, I ended up trying the new Express one where you only had to wait three hours before showering. So I kind of didn't really have much time to monitor it because I'm still moving around. Mm -hmm. So even if I wanted to shower at a certain time, I really couldn't because it was only a three hour window. So right now I'm using the darkest shade, it's Influence from the palette. And I'm just lining your lashes. I'm kind of like blending it into the lashes so that they look thicker. Not that you need it, but I'm extra. Okay, we're almost done with the eyes. I'm going back into my secret palette. This color is not anything crazy. It's just a black. I like some of the names of these. Oh my gosh, they're so fun. Which one did you see? The, the black name. Oh. <laughs> it's yeah. subscribe. Okay, Don't forget to subscribe, you yeah. guys. <laughs> Great transition. Right. Hit that bell. Tell us about your makeup routine. Yes, right? I put on <laughs> mascara 
and then I follow her with blush, and that's it. <laughs> oh my god. That's my makeup routine. <laughs> but it works for you, it's not like you need makeup. It's, it's so simple, it's so basic. Look up for me. And I still feel like I have a lot of makeup on whenever I just put blush on my face and mascara. Sometimes, just sometimes, I go crazy. And I put a little concealer under my eye. Oh my gosh. I know, I know but it's serious. Yeah, I, know. I don't do it all the time. <laughs> okay, so now we're using my favorite L'Oreal True Match foundation. We use three shades of foundation. Yeah. Um, and we mix them all. So right now I'm just gonna start with the highlight. I do like a little like rainbow between the brows, up into the forehead. So you've been doing like so many interviews all over the world. I what know. are some crazy questions that you've been asked? Like which crazy questions. Okay. That's funny um, you mentioned that. So last night I had an interview and during lives, the audience will ask questions for me and some, some of the questions will be introduced into the interview so I can answer on the spot. However, then there are questions that we haven't gotten to and I just go through the comments and answer them. And again, I'm not, I don't know much about pageantry but I know I've heard this question asked before. So somebody asked me to compare a person to a type of food. Like what food would Wait, this person what? be? Yeah, um, the girl that set up my interview, her name's Linnell. Uh, somebody asked, how would you describe Linnell as a type of food? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> it's a food. Like, I'm transforming a human into a food. It's oh odd. So, like, that, that's just so odd to me. And even I've heard questions in pageants be asked, if you were an animal, what type of animal would you be? But that is a common question other people have asked as well. But, like, I don't really know how to answer that. There's so many animals out there. There's so many mm -hmm. different species. And there's so many different types of food. How do I compare somebody to, to food? food? Yeah. Okay, wait, so odd. what food am I? Oh gosh. <laughs> hmm, I would literally, I would have to think so long and hard about this. Oh my gosh. It's so weird. Have you ever been asked a question like that? No, I haven't. It's so weird. And it puts you on the spot because you literally don't know how to answer it. You have to have just basically an answer kind of pre-set up, I feel like, and just use that same answer every time somebody you asks to. you. Because it's so hard. I would be like, you're spaghetti because you're my favorite and spaghetti's my favorite. Okay, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Super light to the point. Yeah, yeah. I'm like super sweet. <laughs> so speaking of spray tan, I just added so much color to your face. <laughs> I can even see the difference now. Right. It's so right now I'm using a makeup brush to blend it all in. This is an e.l.f. blurring. What's up with e.l.f. lately? Oh no, my gosh, they're, they're so good. Yeah, they're killing it. So it's just like a blurring brush and it's perfect for foundation. <laughs> you and your chapstick. <laughs> it's like the first question you ever asked. I know. Do you have chapstick? Chapstick. Every time. Mm -hmm. Anytime I'm get, getting my makeup done. That's my first question. It's one of my favorite songs. A drag queen made this song. It's called Just a Little Chapstick. I've never heard that. <laughs> That's the title of it? Just yeah, and I'm she's in like a full beat and she's like, it's just a little chapstick. <laughs> I can actually see this in my head playing out now. Right. The first time, I went to a drag show before the first time ever and it was on, on or around New Year's Eve or something. So it was a lot, it was over the top, super fun. And like, that's what made me fall in love with. Dry. Like, yeah. <laughs> so now I'm using a super dark shade. What is this called? C6. We want to be snatched. That's just such a funny word to me. <laughs> <laughs> I had a client when the snatched was first a thing. I heard it from Chris Appleton who taught me how to do hair and he's always like snatch that ponytail, snatch that. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I started using it in front of a client and she's like, isn't that like a British word for like lady parts? Oh yeah. And I was like, well, not in like the way I use it, but I guess it could be. Yeah. <laughs> Have to be very careful with the context of your right. Yeah. So they know it is not the lady part. I guess I can't sell it in England. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, imagine. That's so funny. So we've like filmed probably six or seven days total. What was your favorite look so far? That copper look was definitely the it. last one yeah. or the second to last. The the in Orlando. Yeah, the one in Orlando. The, well, the first time you did the copper on me. Okay, when we so, did the photo shoot with the sunglasses. Yes, 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 yes. So, like, I know I judge that off of I had such a hard time stop to stop taking selfies. <laughs> so, like, really? that's how I judge it. Because I remember I even came down, so I was taking selfies in the bathroom. And, of course, I was about to shower, so I had to take it off. And I came downstairs, and I told you, and I was like, I'm kind of mad at you for doing it so well because I got so upset to take it off my face. But I'm just sitting in the bathroom just like taking like hundreds of selfies. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. So that's actually oh, that the look so that we're rough. doing right now. Okay, mm -hmm. Okay. well, I'm going to be like taking selfies afterwards like crazy. Perfect. All right, we're going to bake with resting bake face. It's going to make it look like porcelain. But the photos that we would shoot after, like they literally don't need edited. <laughs> like they, they look don't. so good. Oh my god. Like my skin just looks flawless and like smooth. So for those of you guys watching, I always try to get my fiance to like shoot my makeup looks for me because they look so good. 
and he shot these and I was like, wait, I'm gonna submit these to Avesa, the magazine that I write for, because this can be like a whole article on just like yeah. the look. Yeah. Yeah. We're making this look famous. Yeah, right? <laughs> okay, we're gonna go back into wig cap and we're gonna smoke out the lower lash line. So the first time you sat in my chair, I tell people this all the time, I was terrified because you sat down and you're like, I hate makeup. <laughs> and I was like, oh, great. This I is know. gonna be fun. <laughs> Just, I wear it all the time. I know. So for work, it's always makeup, and it's usually a lot of makeup, because for TV and camera, you have to have a lot coming through. Yeah. So I'm just like, as soon as I get off set, I'm just like, wash, 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 wash. Oh, so my left side's my good side, and then my right side, I do not like. But with your makeup, whenever I have it on, my right <laughs> side actually isn't even that bad. Oh, and I was yeah. fascinated with that, because I do not like my right side. But whenever even your fiance's filming, I'm not as intimidated to turn to the right because really? I know Lisa got that covered. Oh, I'm <laughs> yeah, so happy. I swear I just oh told Amanda that. So now I'm just gonna darken the outer corners with the shade influence. On average, how long does it take for you to put your makeup on? Um like twenty minutes. Twenty minutes? Like for that? Mm-hmm. Oh wow. Because I feel like just doing that copper thing on the lids makes it yeah. so easy. You just okay. put the copper, smoke it out, and yeah. then like your eyes are done. Wow. And okay. then just do the face, so that's not long at all. Usually people sit in the mirror like for hours and I that know. also like intimidates me because I'm like, I don't want to spend like two hours of my day. Meanwhile, I'll spend two hours of my day on Netflix, but <laughs> not putting me. makeup on. Yeah. All yeah. the time. My favorite strategy is to put on lashes and pray. Like if you're in a rush, just like put on lashes and like pray yeah. that it comes together. If you mess up your makeup, just okay. put on lashes, pray. <laughs> That's funny. Good advice. And we're going to start contouring. So I'm going to use these two shades and just contour everything. Basically trace over all the dark foundation stuff that we did. That is a fan brush. It is a fan brush. Yeah. It's like serious. It, it means business. Like a peacock tail. <laughs> I know. Like knowing you, spending time with you, you get asked all of the time, how do I start modeling? How oh, did you get yes. started? Why don't you share with our okay. viewers? <laughs> yes. So it's not as difficult or complex as one may think because a lot of people just, I hear, I don't know where to begin. Honestly, you can Google this question and find it in like two minutes. The easiest way and the only way, really, is just go to an agency. Now, Google whatever city you're in, you can Google modeling agencies around your city. I would recommend, instead of doing that, I would recommend going to models.com, and you can type in the directory, the search bar, click on uh, directory, and you'll find modeling agencies worldwide. So just find the one, find your city, and then you'll see the list of modeling agencies in your city. So that way, if they're on models.com, it's basically in a form of accreditation. They're accredited in a way. But um, I would look at, look at the agencies there, check out their website. If you see that they have an open call, always go in person. Sometimes you'll see online submissions. You can submit to them online if you can't go in person, but it's number one, always go in person. That's, that increases your chances exponentially. So I would just re recommend finding agencies near you, checking out their website or calling them and ask for an open call time. Go to the open call or submit online submissions. And whenever you bring something, you don't have to have a book already. Less is more, especially if you're just starting out. So. Just have a couple Polaroids. If you don't even have that, just go as yourself and say, I'm brand new to this. Do you see that I have? Ha if I have any potential? And that should get the ball rolling. That's wow, what I, would think. I yeah. just learned a lot. Yeah, so models. it's com. Yeah, it's super easy. Just go to models.com, search agencies around you, and that's it. I hope some of my viewers do that and become famous models. Yeah, right? That would be so yeah. exciting. Yeah. They learned on Lady Code. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And if one agency says no, that could just not be your fit. So don't get discouraged. Every agency has a different look that they're looking for, so you just have to find your right match. That's basically what it is. Kind of like finding your right foundation match, you know? You just have to find one that fits well. Or a man. Yes, or a man. <laughs> this is my favorite color. It's called Fillers. Literally, you can use it as eyeshadow on your cheeks, and it's just so fun. Do you come Perfect up with all these names? I did. I wonder what like your first baby's name is going to be. Filler. Uh, yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm yeah. just kidding. <laughs> Filler Halo subscribe. Well, actually her name is Luxie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My little Gemini. You already have your baby. I love when I work with clients and when they distribute new products, they'll sometimes name it after me. No like, oh, this way. Is, yeah. What like, an honor. This is the Lindsay. <gasps> and I'm like, guys, stop it. Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh my god, I love when I have to that. change that copper color to the oh, Lindsay. Yes. Because you invented yes. this whole look. <laughs> Do that. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Lindsay. <laughs> I also love this color. I know I never know when to stop with highlight. This is Halo. It's just so satisfying. I bought my first highlight like a couple weeks ago and I dropped it on the floor and it just <gasps> destroyed itself. It's so 
fragile. It's so like, fragile. It's so fragile. Honestly, the easier it breaks, the better it is. Because oh. that means it's like buttery and oh, soft. Okay. Yeah. No, it was super soft. Because even as I was trying to pick up the pieces, I couldn't even get it. It would just fall apart in my hand. That's how you know it's good, unfortunately. Yeah, okay. Just guard it with your life. <laughs> okay. Don't check it in your luggage. Yeah. I've learned that. <laughs> I know. You know, like, I love whenever it's just so beautiful. And then as soon as it starts to break, it's like... L'Oreal just sent me this. Let's try it out. Ooh. I like that packaging. Like I know. It's so cool. I like rose gold. Is that a rose gold? Like yes. I love packaging. Yeah. I'm like a freak about packaging. That's really good. And okay, L'Oreal. Haven't you modeled for them? I have. I know. I love L'Oreal. Tell me everything. What? I'm so jealous. Honestly, L'Oreal has been one of my favorite clients to work with. The teams are the team is just always so great, so fun. We always have such a good time. And of course I always look fabulous, like afterwards. And like yeah. um even their hair, whenever um because they also have hair products as well. Um I have such heavy, as you know, I have such heavy hair. And so, they figure it out. Yeah, and they just <gasps> figure it out. And my curls will be like so out there and pronounced and so like, what? yeah, so much volume. So they just know what they're doing. They're really good. Like they if are. it's not Lady Cut, it's L'Oreal on her face. Yeah. Even the foundation, they're really good. All right, go ahead and look up for me. I always do the bottom lashes first so that when you look up to do your bottom lashes, the mascara doesn't transfer to the top. Oh my gosh, this mascara is a game changer. <laughs> what even? They weren't playing. And now I'm thinking like, should I get this mascara now? Yes. It's like a lot, it's like extra. Literally just after that one coat. Oh wow. God, I love this copper eyeshadow. <laughs> it's just so nice. The Lindsay look. Today we're doing Rebel 3D. So on her lips, I'm using the Paris lip liner. <laughs> it just goes so quiet because we can't talk. <laughs> I know. And it's funny because every time someone does my lips, then I'm like, I want to say something, but I can't because. <laughs> my clients that like get their makeup done all the time, they just talk through the lip because they're like, it's your job to figure yeah, it out yeah. so I can talk. I'm not going to be polite. Yeah. And I'm just kind of like following right. the lip, like trying to catch it. I do, that, I do that too on set if I'm like really into something. Oh, or I'm the worst thing is the phone. So I'll be like texting and I'll be like doing something on my eye and then like I hold the phone up in different areas and they just have to work around it. I've personally but experienced yeah. that with you. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. It just happens. And then I get makeup artists that are like cool and they do work around it and then there are girls that are like, can you please stop? Oh really? <laughs> and I'm, yeah. And I'm like, okay, so sorry. And then I put it down. If it's like going really bad, I'll be like, please hold still. Yeah. Or I'll be like, it's eyeliner, it's serious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm mixing Paris and Tokyo glosses. Love these two. Doing Paris to darken the outside. On the top lip, I just do the outer corners because I feel like if this is highlighted, it makes the lips look bigger. I love this combination, it's like my go-to. I just thought about something, so I'm gonna say it. If you guys are watching this video, tell me if you watch TikTok or YouTube more because ever since TikTok is like the thing, my views on YouTube have gone down. Oh, really? And TikTok has gone crazy, so I'm just like, yeah. Do I just go to TikTok? Now? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna set you. This is the Payo Paris. Lindsay's skin runs dry. It From does. All the traveling and stress, I'm sure. So this is like a nice moisturizing. And yeah, drench the face. It's okay. I, I get it'll like a combination fine. skin, so it'll be dry in other areas, and then like oily, in like others. an oil slick in the others. <laughs> it's so gross. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is the final look. This is the Lindsay Coffee Miss Earth USA look. This is what we did for her virtual pageant. Let me know what you guys think down below. And if you want to keep up with Lindsay, where can we watch you compete? You can watch me compete on November 29th on the Miss Earth organization's Facebook page. They will be airing it live. So November 29th, mark that on your calendars and it will be exciting. So we're gonna make it look really good. I'm so excited. Yeah. And you still have like two months to go. So where yes. can we follow you on social media? You can follow my Eco Angel account. It's at Eco Angel USA 2020 and you'll be able to see my service projects, what I've been doing, keep up to date with my virtual videos that we're kind of putting together for the pageant. And then I have my business page, which is at Lindsay Marie Coffee. And that is all my work related stuff. So you get to see best of both worlds with me on those two different accounts. Love it. All right, guys. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.